everybody, Sean McCloskey here from ShortSellWealth.com, and I'm sitting here with one of my coaching students, Jason. Say hello, hey, Jason. Jason. Hey, and uh, he actually stopped by for one of our local coaching meetings here that we do twice a month. And he brought a couple HUDs of some deals that he closed just this week. And all of these are within the past week. And he thought it would be a good idea. One of the things that we do in our coaching meetings that I think the students really enjoy is we share examples of real deals that we've closed recently. And what that does is it kind of keeps everybody motivated and pumped up and moving in the right direction. Because, you know, sometimes all it takes is for you to hear a deal that somebody else actually closed and it like in one way it kind of encourages you and another way it kind of ticks you off a little bit because you're like oh why didn't I close a deal like that this weekend and it kind of you know motivates you and pumps you up to get you to close some deals so he brought some HUDs by here we're gonna explain to you what these are here in a second but this is uh, the reason I'm doing this with Jason specifically is because Jason has built a really really good short sale business right now his office is closing somewhere in the neighborhoods of six figures of profits every month and the first time Jason came to one of our short sale wealth boot camps was just now not even a year ago right that's right about a year about a year ago now all right so that being said tell us a little bit about these deals these are just from the past week right well yeah same thing that, that Sean was saying I, I don't mean any of this to make anybody mad I, I mean it to uh, <laughs> not to impress you but to uh, press upon you the, the importance of going out and getting deals and picking up the phone and, and answering it because we're doing weeks like this every single week and you can too with with very little you know n not changing anything different than what you're changing right now these were uh, three A to B B to C's that we did uh, last week and um, just wanted to show you kind of what we did with these yeah, so on out. this one this one we bought over here um, August 8th 2011 looks like that says 8011 but uh, 2011 this was a house um, in Winsville, super cool house. They owed almost, I think, 440, 450 on it, and we were able to pick it up for 216 through a short sale. Uh, we worked that one for probably six months, bought it for 216, and then we just sold it. I don't know when September 2nd was, but maybe uh, yesterday or a couple of days ago. We sold it for 252,500, and uh, so we held that for. Not even a month, right? Yeah. August 8th yeah. to September 2nd. So about three weeks we held that, and uh, I don't know what that is, $37,000 profit on that one. And right now, what are, what are your average profits coming out to on your deals? Uh, we started running reports on that because I, it was important to kind of have an idea to know exactly what we're doing. Our average profit margin per deal right now is 29000 bucks. That's our average. So. Okay. Some of them we make 120,000 bucks on, some of them we make 10,000 bucks, but our company average per closed transaction is right at 29. And how many closings are you doing on a monthly or weekly basis right now? Um, typically, we have two a week pretty much every week. Um, we might go a week and not have any, um, or we might have a week where we close four, yeah. but, uh, but it's not abnormal for us to do two or three a week pretty much every week. Right. You know, uh, one of the things, Hold on a second here. Zoom out. <laughs> there we go. One of the things that Jason shared with me, which I thought was uh, was pretty cool, as I said, you know, what is it? Because I have some students that do really well, like Jason's doing, and I also have some students that take a lot longer to get off the ground. And I said, Jason, what is the one thing that you feel like you're doing that makes your business exceptional right now? And the answer I thought was pretty funny because I think. I think oftentimes we try to rethink the process so much that we end up doing detriment to our business rather than helping it out. And the one thing Jason said is he says, what do you mean? I did what I was told. He said, I, I went through the course. I learned what I learned at the event. Kevin right, spent four right. days with you. And I did everything you said to do. And I, he's closing deals as a result. Here's a couple more. Let's share a couple more. Sure. Um, that one was the Winsfield one. All right. So we'll look at the next one. This was a property out in Warrington. This one looks like up here, I guess, is where we start. That one we bought on July 26, 2011. Paid, is that 18 or 19? 19,000 um, bucks. And then we just sold it September 1st for uh, 43, is that 43,685. So quite a different price range of house. You're talking 
from a couple hundred thousand to you know buying it for 19 grand and selling it for 43 right? and this one was one that we the day we put it on the market we had like three or four cash offers and it was normally a property that we probably wouldn't even mess with because you get in the nineteen thousand dollar house range and you start to get kind of into bad neighborhoods but yeah. this one was not St. Louis City, it was Warren County, and so we were able to pick it up at a good price and uh, sell it for a good turn and really low risk. I mean, we, we made almost the same amount of money on this one as we did on the big one, right. but for a $19,000 investment. Awesome, awesome. And then we got one. Is there anything, by the way, is there anything significant about either one of these deals, like anything that was uh, jumped out at you, or were, were these pretty pretty traditional deals? I mean, the I'll most tell you of them that look like the, this, uh, I'll tell you that the first one was a little tough. We had an approval on it for um, this one that we bought for 216. We had an approval on it to buy it for like 190. And we had it listed, I think, at 299. The house they owed almost, like I said, 440, 450 on it. Super nice house. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. And we didn't have the end buyer when we were marketing. Mm -hmm. And so that approval expired. They ordered a new BPO and the house right next door to it sold for like 460. Oh. And now they use that as the comp. So we had to fight and fight and fight. And I think they ended up approving a gross of two and a quarter. And that's how we got our net, you know, our, okay. our whatever we bought it for, 216. Okay. Uh, so that was a tough one. But in the end, uh, it worked out. We dropped our list price and, and still made a, a decent margin on it. Okay, cool, cool. And then right, this last this one over one here, here, this one is uh, actually on Winfield. So they we're kind of all over the place on these. This one, I guess we bought over here um, for sixty-three thousand bucks out in Winfield. We bought it on July twenty-eighth of this year, so a little bit over a month ago. And then we just closed it out and sold it on September first, and we sold it for seventy-six. So cash to cash. No, uh, you know the, the, the buyer was a cash buyer, buyer so there wasn't there. a ton of fees that we didn't do. None of these did we do any rehab or spend any of our own money on, with the exception of the two hundred thousand dollar one. We paid a couple thousand bucks to stage it. Other than that, there wasn't uh, any rehab expenses or anything. And cool. this was an easy, clean deal, sixty three to seventy six. It's only thirteen thousand bucks or something, but it's uh, it's another one to to add to the deal. Awesome. And I think the key here also is to remember, you know, Jason mentioned that the first one here took him six months, but since he's got multiple deals in the pipeline at one time, he's not necessarily working on every single deal every minute of every day, right? right. I mean, some Absolutely. of them, the banks are going to take a little while to give him a response. So since he's got multiple deals in the pipeline at once, he can also now have multiple closings per week. And even though some of them may be three, four, or even five, six months old, uh, those are ones he started six months ago. He's also got deals that he started five months ago that will close next month and four months ago that will close maybe next month or the month after that. Right. And so the whole key of this is once you have your pipeline set up, that's when you start seeing the recurring paychecks coming in on a regular basis. So obviously it's going to take just a minute to get set up, but once it's set up and as long as you stay consistent with this, that's when you start seeing the consistent paychecks, right? Absolutely. All right, Absolutely. man. Uh, any other words of wisdom to share? Thank you so much for sharing these with us, by the way. Man. Yeah, no problem. I, if I had a word of advice for anybody who's just you know, maybe hasn't gotten started yet, set, set your number. And I tell this to the people at the office, set your number for, for 30 files. I mean, make that kind of your initial goal to have 30 files that you're working on. We have about 100, and that's why we start to see two or three closings a week. And for you personally, if you want one or, or two deals closing in a month, I think 30 is what we've kind of found to be that magic number. And when you get to that, that's when you're going to start rolling and having a closing every month or, or a couple closings a month. Yeah. And by the way, getting to that 30 number is not difficult to no, do. And, no, and so not. I'm going to wrap this up with one quick message for you, because if I could give you one message to take away from this, it's that Jason hit the nail on the head. And what Jason's really saying by getting 30 deals in your pipeline is focus on your marketing, because I don't care... Uh, any monkey can close deals with a little bit of knowledge. I mean, I can show you just a little bit that you need to do to get this started. And then just about anybody can close deals as long as you have multiple deals in the pipeline. And I'll tell you, one person can handle 30 deals on their own. It's not difficult. Yeah, it's, it sounds like a lot, but that's not a big number. Yeah. I mean, that, that's if you're doing your marketing and you're meeting with two or three homeowners in a week, you're going to have you know a pipeline like that in, in no time. And you don't even you really you really need to do is just get started just just do some marketing go out and do an appointment and and this is the result that happens from it you got it all right so take it to heart put it into action right now and i'll see you on the next video talk to you guys soon have a great week hopefully have a couple closings this week too see you